The 14-year-old boy who drowned at Atwater Beach yesterday has now been identified as Sare Ahmed. His family says he was a quiet teen who excelled in school. Tom Durian talked to them today. Tom is live at the beach with the latest. Tom. Yeah, Carol George Jure was here with four other kids from his local mosque when he was swimming and drowned here at Atwater Beach. His mother says he couldn't swim, but you wouldn't know it. He was pretty confident. His friends said they asked him to record him jumping in on his phone. He's a good kid. I love him that I miss right now. So. Muhammad Adnan describes his son as a good big brother to his younger siblings, always watching over them and never talking back, as you may expect a teenager to do. In fact, he didn't talk a whole lot, according to his family. He's so super and fantastic guy. He's very quiet guy, so shy. His father says yesterday was different, though. While Saray would call him at work often, the conversations usually only lasted a couple minutes. Yesterday day too before he died like on 12 30 or one o'clock he called me he took like 20 minutes family has gathered from around the country in accordance with their islamic faith he will be buried within the next few days they're holding tight to their faith not questioning why things happen is from god if god decreed your time up your time up begin control that i was like so this day is okay, you know, this is what is happening. Everybody goes over there, so this is job. It's not our job. It's God's his job. So that video I mentioned is still in Saray's phone. Nobody has the passcode to get inside it. A GoFundMe account has been set up for his funeral expenses. We put that on our website. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll talk to the village of Shorewood. We'll find out why there was no lifeguard here on duty yesterday or for the entire summer, for that matter. Reporting live here in Shorewood, Tom Duran, today's TMJ4. Yeah, that family certainly has strong faith. Tom, thank you very much.